Hi there and welcome to bnd.biz. My name is Alan Thorne and I've been a game developer for the past 20 years. I absolutely love helping people make games. In this movie we're going to look at two major problems that you might encounter if you choose to use the C Sharp language as your scripting language here inside the Godot engine. The Godot engine is an amazing piece of software and I'm delighted to say that C Sharp is one of the scripting languages supported by that software. C Sharp is an amazing language and I encourage you to use that whenever creating your Godot games. But sometimes you may find yourself tearing your hair out with some really, really annoying problems that can sometimes pop up. Two major problems in particular we're going to be taking a look at in this tutorial video. One is about ensuring that you're using the correct version of the .NET framework, otherwise none of your scripts, no matter how beautifully they're written, none of them will compile and you will get a ton of errors. The second problem is about missing script files. Perhaps you create a script file in your project and then you delete it and then Godot complains about the fact that that script file is missing and you can't compile stuff anymore. We're going to take a look at these two problems in action and then I'll show you exactly how to solve them here inside Godot. So the first problem that you might encounter is the compilation problem. This is when seemingly an empty project or a completely new project doesn't successfully compile. For example, here I am in the Godot editor. I've just created this empty project. Well, it's empty except for this beautiful mesh scene that's in the environment. But apart from that, there really is nothing else to this project. If I move to the top right hand side and click the build button, it's going to think about that. And then pretty quickly, it's going to show me a build error. This might seem strange because actually, if you take a look on the left hand side, in the file system panel, you'll see that actually we don't even have any script files. So how could there be a build error? Well, the reason for this is if we take a look down here on the build panel, we can see information about what the problem was. Now take a look at this line here. It says current version dot targets. If you see something very much like that in your error display, then it means that Godot can't find an appropriate version of the .NET framework to compile your project with. This is a serious problem because without it, nothing will compile. Now, the way to fix this is that sometimes, depending on the version of Godot that you're using, and even on the operating system that you're using, it could just be a misalignment between the .NET version that you're using. Godot is trying to use one version, and there's a different version that's taking priority on your system. There are two steps you can try to fix this problem. The first one is you can move up here to the editor window and choose editor settings and then move down here in the editor settings to the mono section and select builds. Now when you move to the build tool drop down you want to make sure that in here we have selected the mono version of the .NET framework. You may have a different version selected in here. For example, I have Xbuild, but on the Windows platform you may even see Visual Studio or some other kind of version of the mono framework. You want to make sure that you're using the MS Build mono framework option. That should be the one selected. Then choose close. Now if you do that and you choose build again and you still get the problem then there's another solution that you can try. If you move to the file system and you right click on the resolution or the resource section here and you move down to the very bottom where there's the option that says open in file manager. This is going to display the complete Godot project files here inside Windows or inside Mac, whichever operating system you are using. I'm going to select that option to display all of the files. Now you can see these listed here. In my case, the project is at this location. For you, it may be at an entirely different location and that's absolutely fine. The one thing that you want to do is to move to the project here. That is the file that ends in the extension CSProj, which stands for C Sharp 
project. Now, if you don't see this file at all, the reason for that is because you may never have pressed the build button in the editor. When you attempt to initiate the build process, this file is generated. If you never click this button, then your project may never have this file. So if you don't get it, just click build and then it will generate that project file. I'm going to go back to this manager here. Now you want to open this file in a text editor. Now you could open this in Visual Studio, but I'm just going to go ahead and edit this in a text editor. So for example, I'm going to bring this up inside the standard Mac text editor. It is an XML file and there is a ton of different settings, but there's only really one that's relevant for us right here. And that is this version here, the target framework version. This specifies the version of the .NET library that should be used to compile your project. In this case, it says 4.8. And the reason that this is throwing up an error for me is because Godot version 3 expects us to use version 4.5. So I'm going to change this to 4.5 and then choose save. Now the question is, which version should you be using? And really, Godot version 3 is intended to work with version 4.5. So by default, it is set to that value and normally it should be that value. But on certain system configurations, you may not be able to install version 4.5, in which case you might need to choose a different version. The point is, you know how to open this file and you know where to set this version if you need to change it. I'm going to close this file and go back to Godot here and reinitiate the build process. Now, in this instance, on creating the build process, that works absolutely fine. So that's how we can go ahead and correct a build error when it fails to recognize which version of the .NET framework we're using. This isn't necessarily the only error that you're going to encounter when using C Sharp inside Godot. There is another one that's also really irritating, and I'm going to show you how to correct that in just a second. Now the second error that you might get is the one that you can see right here in the error panel which gives us a script file, my old script.csharp. For you it might be a completely different name and then it says could not be found. Now you might get this when you create a script file. For example you might go to the scripts tab, choose file, new script and then create a completely new C -sharp script and after having created that script you move over here to the file system and delete it. And then you try to compile again and it still bugs you about the fact that the file is not there, but on the other hand, it seems to be expecting it to be there. It seems as though Godot never wants you to delete a script file, even if you really don't need it anymore. Well, we can easily fix this issue. It's annoying. And hopefully in future versions of Godot, it won't continue to be there to annoy us and we don't need to worry about it. But that's not the case right now. We need to fix this problem manually. And here's how we do that. We move to the file system like we did with fixing the .NET framework error. Right click, choose open in file manager. And we go back to this really irritating CS proj file. You're going to right click, you're going to choose open and open that in a text editor just as we did before. There's the target framework version that we've seen before. But if we scroll down even further, in fact, all the way to the bottom, and we take a look at this section here at the very bottom where we have item group, and you can see we have a list of the files that C Sharp is expecting to find to compile. Now, you better make sure that any script files you do want to compile are in this list, but on the other hand, if we have script files in this list and they no longer exist, an error is going to happen. You can see on the very top line here, we have a reference to my old script file.csharp. It's expecting to find that file and it doesn't exist anymore. I'm simply going to completely delete that line and repair the gap and then save the file, close that, go back to my project here, back to my beautiful Van Gogh scene and then choose compile to recompile my project and now when it does this we're going to get 100 percent success because the file that we deleted doesn't exist and it isn't any longer in that c -sharp project file that was a really easy fix you may find yourself needing to do that from time to time particularly if you delete a lot of script files 
So that is how we can fix two big errors using C Sharp right here in the Godot engine. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. My name is Alan Thorne and this has been part of bnd.biz. Please subscribe to our channels to check out all of our tutorials in the Godot engine, free software and all the other kinds of software you could imagine for creating interesting games.